Hello, welcome to your guided meditation for the full moon in Scorpio. So this moon happens on Thursday, April 21st, 2016. And I'm calling this moon the moon of deep healing. And that's because this is what Scorpio is all about. Scorpio is all about deep, deep healing at an emotional level and at a psychological level. So Scorpio covers the territory of our subconscious mind. Scorpio is about unconscious behavior patterns and Scorpio really is about the healing that can happen when we work with our subconscious mind, when we get to the bottom of things, when we really understand ourselves at a deep, deep level emotionally, when we um, understand our deepest motivations and desires. Scorpio is all about deep desires. Um, especially psychologically and emotionally. So um, with this moon being a full moon, the full moon always illuminates. The full moon brings things to light. The full moon creates consciousness around something that was previously unconscious. So full moon in Scorpio is such an amazing opportunity for all of us to um, bring something that is unconscious and that is causing pain or causing um, blockage in our life in some way to heal that, um, to create a happier life. <laughs> um, also a great opportunity to clear out um, old issues, past hurts, past pains, past baggage, um, something from an old situation that maybe has been lingering in your psyche that is ready to be um, released, that's ready to be let go of. So all that being said, Scorpio energy can feel a little intense sometimes. <laughs> um, Scorpio energy can make us feel um, or can, um, can be associated with feelings of emotional se sensitivity. Scorpio energy can sometimes bring up feelings of being very vulnerable because um, in order to get into this space of healing, we do have to be vulnerable with ourselves. Scorpio is all about intimacy, deep um, intimacy. And so when we get into this stuff, um, when we heal ourselves, we have to have intimacy with ourselves and that can feel vulnerable. So if you are feeling that, um, that's okay. That's totally normal. <laughs> and I want to encourage you to just be with yourself and to allow yourself to feel that way and know that um, when you do so, it will pass. So I want you to get into a comfortable space, into a comfortable place where you can be sitting or laying down to meditate with me. Um, if you have my 2016 moon journal, this is a wonderful opportunity to use that. You can have it sitting next to you with a pen so that um, you can fill out the prompts and write down any insights that come to you after the meditation. But if you don't have my 2016 moon journal, that's okay. You can um, just have a little notepad next to you. It's always nice to write down insights that come to you following your meditation. So, um... One last thing that I want to share with you that I feel is really important is that um, with the full moon, there's always an emphasis on releasing and detoxing and letting go of something. And um, this is good, of course. We want to constantly be evolving and releasing what is outdated for us. But what I want to encourage you, especially with this full moon in Scorpio, to, to hold in your heart is that there's always a reason why something is in your life. And even if this thing is quote unquote, a bad pattern or a bad tendency or a quality or trait that you want to release or let go of, there's always a reason why it's in your life. And I find that the deepest healing can come when we understand why this thing is in our life in the first place. Um, there is no, um, I feel there is no good and bad. There's only just what is happening. And um, if there is a pattern in your life, or if there's a thing that you are doing or something that's happening externally, there's always a message for you there. There's always something that your higher self is trying to communicate to you. And so I encourage you, um, instead of jumping straight to the release <laughs> of that thing, I, and we'll do this in the meditation, but I encourage you to start with a place of honoring and honoring and accepting this situation or this behavior pattern in your life and trying to understand why it's there in the first place. Because when you 
honor and understand, then it can be released and then the deep healing can happen. Um, and, and this takes away the, the pressure or the pain of feeling like you're a bad person or you're doing a bad thing. That is never the case. Um, there's always something underneath that. So, um, so we're going to meditate on that a little bit. <laughs> so once you feel nice and comfortable, I want you to close your eyes. And just let your body start to settle in. Take any other adjustments that you need in order to feel super comfortable and settled. We're letting ourselves physically settle into the space. We're letting ourselves emotionally settle into this space. and mentally settle into this space. And so um, meditation is a practice of focus and awareness. And the best way to work with these qualities is to start with our physical body first. So we're just gonna let everything start to relax. And I want you to focus entirely on feeling your physical body. I'm gonna guide you through um, a visualization and a practice of connecting with your physical body. Good. <laughs> um, so first I want you to just start with letting your eyes and your jaw relax. Good. You can take a few cleansing breaths if you like. Breathing in very deeply and slowly through your nose. And then exhaling completely through your mouth. Good. And you can do that as many times as you like until you feel this sense of settling in your body. Until you feel a sense of letting go with every single exhale. Good. And then when you feel ready, I want you to breathe in and out through your nose only. And you're going to let your breathing pattern be natural. So there's no need to breathe deeply or to control your breath in any way. You're going to let your breath come into its natural rhythm. You're letting your body find this breathing rhythm that is totally unique to you and totally appropriate for you in this exact moment, in this exact space. Good. Good. And so as you're letting your breath move in and out through your body in a way that is effortless. I want you to bring your focus down to your feet and not just to your feet, but to get really specific with it. So I want you to bring your focus into the soles of your feet. And you're going to imagine all of the muscles that run along the bottom of each foot. We're going to let those muscles just soften and relax. Good. Even the muscles that run along the underside of each toe, even those little tiny muscles are going to relax. Good. Let your ankles relax. Let your calves relax. Let your knees relax. Good, let your thighs relax. And then I want you to bring your focus into your pelvis. So 
we're gonna let all of the muscles in our whole pelvic area relax. So this includes um, the muscles deep in your belly, the muscles surrounding your hips, the muscles surrounding your tailbone can relax and soften. Good. And then I want you to even visualize the internal organs in your low belly. And I want you to imagine those organs in the very low belly are just being um, encircled with a ball of light. So there's light encircling your whole pelvis. And as this happens, this light is swirling around in a sphere around the low belly and it's letting all of the energy here soften and relax. So it's creating like a nice little supportive um, foundation for you. Good. Belly can relax. If you're having um, trouble here relaxing or if your belly still feels tense, you can place your hands on your low belly. Good. Good, and in fact, let's all place our hands on our low belly. And then I want you to imagine um, what it would feel like if there were a warmth coming from your hands. You can even imagine light um, from your palms into your low belly, if you would like. Good. You can do three cleansing breaths here if you like, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth softly. Good. Good, and then we're going to continue to let the rest of our body move into relaxation stage. So the upper belly can relax. Imagine what it would feel like if your heart relaxed into a more quiet and more soft yet strong and stable beat. Good, let your shoulders relax. Let your jaw relax. Good. And we even want to allow there to be space in our jaw. So teeth are separated. And then I want you to allow the back of your tongue to drop away from your soft palate. So there's a little bit of space there back in the jaw. Tongue is relaxed. Your cheeks are relaxed. And then um, super important, eyes are soft and relaxed. And you can even visualize all of the muscles that run from the front of the eye into the back of the eye, into the back of your head. And let all of those little tiny delicate muscles through the eyes soften and relax. And I want you to think about your eyes being so soft and relaxed that it's almost as if your eyes are open. So your eyelids are literally closed, but there's this feeling of openness in the eyes. There's this feeling of receptivity. Good. And um, we want to keep this, this feeling of receptivity because the eyes are related to our third eye center and this is the area where, the energy center where um, we can have creative visualization but then also um, where we can receive messages as well. Good. Let your eyebrows relax. Good. 
good. And then feel your whole body as one unit, relaxed, in a state of deep relaxation, yet alert and aware and receptive. There's this feeling of experiencing your body completely and being open, open and receptive. <laughs> Good. Good. And then I want you to bring your focus back into your low belly. So the area of your belly below your belly button. And I want you to bring your hands there again if they're not already there. Good. Feel your whole body relaxed. And then at the low belly area, I want you to imagine a beautiful sparkling ball of light. And when I say a beautiful ball of sparkling light, I want you to notice if there is a color that comes to you if it's white light, that's great. If it's a specific color, that's great too. I want you to go with whatever feels good. If you're feeling a little murky on it, you're just gonna imagine white light. Good. And then also I want you to notice um, what's the quality of this sphere of light in your low belly, is it, um, What's the size compared to your belly, compared to your pelvis? Is it really big? Is it really tiny? Is it very bright? Is it more dim? Does it have sparkles? Is it more um, transparent or is it more opaque? Good, we're just noticing. And there's no way that it should be. We're just um, taking the temperature, so to speak. We're just noticing exactly what is right now. Good. And so this area in our body, um, this is the, um, the energy center in our sacral um, area. So this is the sacral chakra. Uh, this is the energy center that is related to Scorpio energy. It's in our pelvis. It's um, where um, our deep emotions and desires start in this energy center in the sacral chakra. So um, we're going to work with this energy a little bit. I want you to imagine that this beautiful sparkling ball of light at the low belly is starting to become stronger. And so stronger means that the light gets brighter. It might become larger. It might get more sparkles. The color might become more vibrant. Good. And I want you to allow this light to expand so that it covers the area of your whole pelvis and um, it's very bright and concentrated. And then we're going to allow this energy to flow through our body. So the sphere of light will stay at the center of our belly, but then the light is allowed to travel up and down. So that light is allowed to flow down through your pelvis, through your tailbone, through your legs, and through your feet. Good, and this light is so powerful and beautiful and generous that it even flows out through the soles of your feet. Good. Uh, and then this light, this sphere of light at the center of your low belly is going to flow upwards as well. So it's going to flow up through the upper belly, through your chest, swirling around through all of the internal organs, the heart and the lungs. This light is going to flow through the collarbones, through your arms, 
and then just like the feet this light's going to flow through your arms and even out through the palms of your hands good and so as this light flows through your body it's energizing and rejuvenating and it creates this vibe of vibrancy through your whole body so uh, the light continues up through the chest through your throat swirling around through your jaw and your tongue and your eyes and then it's going to keep moving up 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 even out the top of your head good so this light that is emanating from your very low belly deep in the pelvis it's flowing up and down through your whole entire body illuminating your whole entire body good good so you can continue with this visual if you like but i want you to bring your focus back into the low belly again and keeping your focus there I'm going to have you ask yourself a contemplative question to yourself so when I state the question your job is just to repeat it in your own mind and then wait you're not trying to figure it out don't try to think about it you're just asking and then you're listening you're asking and then being receptive so you're being receptive for physical sensations in your body, um, images that may come to you that pop into your mind, or a sense of knowing. So that's how you receive. Um, if nothing comes to you, that's okay too. That's totally appropriate. Sometimes nothing comes in the moment. So focus is in your low belly. Good. And then I want you to ask to yourself, what is it that I most need to know right now? What is it that I most need to know right now? Good, letting your breath move through you, especially in your low belly. And if you're finding yourself getting tense or anxious or trying to figure out what you should be knowing, <laughs> you're just gonna feel into your body. So focus is on experiencing the physical sensations in your body and feeling your breath move through your body. What is it that I need to know right now? Good. Good, and then I want you to bring your hands up to your heart, place your palms on the center of your chest. Good, and then I want you to start to deepen your breathing. Good, and we'll intend that anything that needed to happen during this time was um, exactly appropriate for you at this point in time and um, we'll also ask that anything else that needs to be integrated will be done so within the next few days or the next week <laughs> good we're going to end with three cleansing breaths so with me take an inhale through your nose exhale through your mouth good second time inhale through your nose Exhale through your mouth. Good. Last time, inhale through your nose, deep breath. Exhale. Good. When you feel ready, 
open your eyes and take a moment to write down anything that came to you even if nothing came to you write write that down write down what your experience was i am wishing you a wonderful amazing full moon and sending you lots of love i'll talk to you soon namaste